You know our discussion, we discussed about our production level. Farmers have not hit the target of what they're supposed to get per acre or per hectare. They are getting the best input, the best seed, the best fertilizers, the best pest and control uh, products, the best foliage, but still they are not eating the target. And why is it so? How is your soil? What do you have in your soil? How do you handle your soil? That is the biggest discussion. When talking of the soil, we, we usually focus so much on the supplement, which is addition of uh, manure is the organic matter and addition of fertilizers, which is the uh, synthetic supplement to better our soil. But that is half discussion of what the soil should consist. The conversation behind soil is one big topic that we I don't know when we are going to uh, to have a conclusion on this discussion. Uh, why am I saying so? Soil is the mother of everything that we have. Soil is life. Though the technology has brought us to the soilless farming where we don't need the soil but still we need to have a conversation about soil if you make a mistake of soil when starting if you make a mistake in your soil if you avoid some things in your soil even if you get the best uh, fertilizer you get the best seeds you've already lost it because that is the bottom line. That is the, the starting point. So how you do your soil, how you treat your soil is what matters. In my recent um, past, I earned a few visits. Uh, some visit in Europe, visited Turkey, visited Moldova, visited Ukraine. In Africa, visited Tanzania, visited uh, Senegal. And one thing... I've come to learn on one thing, the concept I've come to borrow from all my visit lies behind the soil. And the, the, the discussion is, how is your soil? What do you have in your soil? How do you handle your soil? That is the biggest discussion. For the Zillow Tillage team, we are going to discuss about that very soon. Uh, because I've already broken that rule of zero tillage and it's something that we need to learn uh, it's something that we need to uh, I need to continue educating you I have a section that I'm leaving for zero tillage for conservation agriculture uh, because I want to bring you all on board so that I can be able uh, to dispense my knowledge and so that I can share my skills without discriminate discrimination nobody will feel discriminated the organic team, the zero tillage, uh, the inorganic team, we need to come into one room because in everything we do, we are all focusing on food security and business behind farming. So, in your crop, one thing I've come to realize is, and this is the biggest mistake we usually do, is one, um, when talking of the soil, we, we usually focus so much on the supplement, which is addition of uh, manure is the organic matter and addition of fertilizers, which is the uh, synthetic supplement to better our soil. But that is half discussion of what the soil should consist. Because in, in our discussion and uh, uh, some of the discussions I end with uh, a soil expert among them, an expert that had visited me, uh, in this farm is the soil carbon and the soil carbon can be achieved uh, from the small scale farming from the small portion farming to the large scale farming and the soil carbon is what carries everything in the soil it's what carries the nutrition is what carries the biology is what carries the acidity is what it, it carries it's the the mother to everything that is in soil and now the question remains how do we achieve this soil carbon because it's something that 
should be in plenty when starting and should be maintained across the journey of farming. Because if you if you fail to, to absorb it, uh, you'll be missing something and something very important. In our discussion with an expert um, about the soil, we've come to discover and also comparing notes with the uh, production level in Ukraine, in production levels in Turkey, production level in a small country like Moldova, we've come to know, or in our discussion, we discussed about our production level. Farmers have not hit the target of what they're supposed to get per acre or per hectare. They are getting the best input, the best seed, the best fertilizers, the best pest and control uh, product, the best foliage, but still they are not eating the target or the place where they are supposed to, 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 to hit or where what they are supposed to achieve. And why is it so? It's because of the soil. Like the old saying usually goes, whatever you feed grows. So, from your side, how much have you taken care of your soil to maintain the carbon levels and also to make sure with maintenance of carbon levels there is nutrition? Um, just by brief, this is just by the, the starting point. We, we have uh, many classes um, for those who are following us, if this is the first time that you're watching me, you need to follow this YouTube channel because uh, you, you are missing a lot. And if you are not going to follow, this is the last video that you'll be watching because uh, you're not a follower. Kindly follow so that you continue learning. So, in the population, and this is a concept I borrowed from, uh, from Tanzania, is leaving your soil to rest. As a farmer, and to my client that we've been practicing in with, we usually farm from January to December. Crop, 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 crop. There is no less thing for the soil. Yes, sometimes you sh we observe the crop rotation, but there is no that gap where the soil is left bare just to relax and rest and to regain its momentum, to regain its power. And this is a simple concept uh, I learned in Ukraine and the same concept repeated in Tanzania and that is what I'm practicing from now. But I think my soil has rested enough. I had enough of floods. I had enough of soil resting. It, was, it has rested by force. So the gap we give our soil to, 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 to rest after one crop. Before now bringing the next crop, we should not be like the previous crop should be a rotational crop is all matters a lot is what matters and matters a lot so as a farmer how much break or how much time are you giving your soil time to rest that is the biggest concept and that is the principle and that is the bottom line the soil should be given time the soil needs to less to rest so that it can regain its carbon bag, so that the biologists in the soil can continue reproducing, so that the nutrition can be enough. Then from that, we observe the crop rotation, we observe addition of organic matters, the likes of uh, um, uh, mulching, the likes of uh, uh, manure, goat manure, chicken manure, cow manure, all types of manure, introduction of biochar, you've You've heard of biochar. If you're not aware of biochar, I'm going to prepare a very big lesson on this YouTube channel on my matters biochar and so that you can learn. I'm going to, to bring an expert who will explain to us more about biochar, more about uh, the organic matter and why we need to go the biochar way. That just by the beginning. We have started the preparation of my soil. I've started preparing for my seedlings so that now we can start afresh and start learning together. If this is your first time that you are watching me, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel so that we can continue learning together. Bye.